We've got Morgan Fitzgibbons with us, and uh, this is our first live interview, and I, I think uh, it's a bit experimental for at least the Holland's network, but on the other hand, we're just having a conversation about, about ideas that we're all passionate about. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess, um, you know, Morgan, how would you describe yourself? Sort of a, a community organizer, or is that is that what you're trying to uh, accomplish with your activities? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've been thinking lately that I like to say if I was, if I were a, a character in a curious case, the curious case of Benjamin Button, I would be a philosopher, you know, I would, right. that's definitely my, the core of who I am. Okay. But uh, the work that I'm doing um, is, is, is around community organization right mm -hmm. now. Hmm. So, but, okay, so you identify as a philosopher. Yes. So then obviously uh, your metaphysics or your cosmology or your worldview has a lot to do with how you work in your community and what sorts of practical things you try to bring into the world, right? Yes, uh, I would, you know, obviously the German Weltanschauung is really the term that I that I prefer. It really encompasses um, sort of the, that, that is the foundation of, of, you know, our structures and our ideas and and how we act in the world, and, and really, what I in my my work as a philosopher was really about trying to connect our worldview um, with our ethics and right. and the good. Um, right, Morgan. I was wondering if you could give us your definition of civilization, and uh, and if you think uh, under that definition, do you think it's sustainable, or do you think it's a fundamentally a broken system? Are we doomed to fail as humans just because of some innate quality that we have just to? Fuck shit up, and, and also about how civilization relates to what our worldviews are. You know, there's a certain prepackaged worldview that sort of comes along with it. That's right. So those are two parts. Your definition, sure. and then is it sustainable? Yes or no? Yeah. So um, I, I believe, as a definition of civilization, I would imagine that we would be talking about um, our current um, state of existence as human beings, mm -hmm. um, with all that comes with that. Um, you know our ideas and our, our laws and our things and and um, and as it you know stands, um, I guess I would want in further defining it, I would want to sort of separate it from you know uh, or or add in addition to how it is now another possible way of of what we might call the civilization. If civilization is stricken, that <coughs> which is happening right now, this, which is carried with the human um, with the human sphere. Um, so I, I would say that right, obviously right now, what constitutes civilization um, is not sustainable right. and is not um, is is deformed or it's inadequate. <clears throat> well, I think it doesn't care if it's sustainable. It never asked right. that question. It's not a question, yeah. And 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 getting to your 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 question, Matt, uh, that you know. What we're talking about as a civilization is the foundation is our worldview, right. and and I'm you know in my work ha have been really fascinated with how you know this worldview that does ask about sustainability um, has come out of the worldview that that we we're, we're sort of referring to as civilization yeah. that doesn't ask about sustainability. For me, it's about at its core, it's physical cosmology or, or basic understanding of how yeah. this moment was created, right. and uh, and of course. You know where where it's been, Morgan. Is that like a is that like a modern view worldview gives birth or rise to this postmodern kind of thing that criticizes and says, well, that's wrong. What, what, modernity, what you're doing here is wrong. You're not caring, basically. Yeah. Um, you're you're doing this in the environment, this and that. Look here, but all the you made profit, yeah, sure, mm -hmm. and you look nice now, but in the long run, is that what this like postmodern meme is trying to do? It's, it's coming up from that. Is that what you've seen from your studies? Yeah, yeah. I, I, that is that is what I would what I would see. But I would also actually say that the postmodern is has not gone all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what the I don't think they're asking about sustainability. The postmodern. The postmodern is basically sort of putting the mirror back on the modern, saying, "Look, this is where you've come from. This is your worldview. Mm -hmm. Sort of that 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 work that needed to be done, but it's also." Kind of this nihilism, so that, just deconstruction. Yeah, exactly. Like constructive, it's not creative. Right. Work, work that needed to be done. Can you can you go into that? Well, um, I always think of uh, thus spoke Zarathustra, uh, mm -hmm. Nietzsche, and 
and his uh, we talked about the three transformations mm -hmm. and and um, and basically the three transformations are the camel which is so this thing civilization we've been talking about right. yeah. um, and that's sort of this, you know the thing that takes on everything and just accepts it right. and then the second transformation is the lion mm -hmm. and the lion is the one that says no there is no absolute basis for any of this you know there is you're we're going to deconstruct everything and, and you get your nihilism at the end of it there is no ultimate meaning right. you know there are no facts there are only opinions yeah and 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 then the third transformation and this is the one that i think we are making but we need to be explicit about this this movement mm -hmm. um is is the child and and the child's yes and so the child says yes to what the lion said no to right, right. and uh and so we're coming out of this time you know where it's been you know we've had the camel christianity the west mm -hmm. you know platonic worldview basically and then modern science has basically served as this this giant no mm -hmm. and it's saying no there is no worldview there there is no ultimate meaning to the world right. and um you know, I'd love to forget being in the Academy, California Academy of Sciences, and on the wall it says, there is no direction to the universe, you know? <laughs> it yeah. says that, you know, not right. like, oh, we don't know. Right. So, so science is, is being the, is being the, the, the lion, and, and we're, what we need to do is birth this, this child, mm -hmm. and this child's way of understanding the world, and, and to me, it is, it is taking sort of evolution, mm -hmm. and, and saying yes to it, and basically saying, yes, I do have faith, it's a new covenant really, that there is something at the end of it. And, and what yeah. that is, I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't know, but what I do know is that there is evolution, and if we can you know, have, have humans in 500 years from now, they're gonna know way more than we know, or mm -hmm. gonna be able to answer a ton of things that we can't answer. Right. And yeah. therefore, because we don't know, because we don't know what the ultimate end is, we have to, our immediate end is to create sustainable culture. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk more about evolutionary cosmology. As I, mean, I think you're going to suggest, or are suggesting that that's the impetus for the sorts of communities that we need to be ready for. Mm -hmm. So, an evolutionary cosmology would be, um, I mean, when people hear evolution, normally they think Darwin. Mm -hmm biological natural selection and that would seem to fall in line with scientific view where there's no direction to it mm -hmm. it's just sort of uh, specialization in these different ways that doesn't necessarily get us any closer to uh, some goal or some goodness mm -hmm. at the end or truth at the end right so how would this sort of uh, how does evolution um, imply direction in this sort of cosmological sense that's different from the way a Darwinist would understand evolution as a non-directional, non-teleological process. Well, I, I, um, I wanted to preface, I, I don't know exactly what Darwin, you know, understood in terms of that teleological answer. I would actually yeah. suspect that he probably had made some room for it and the process, the scientific process has yeah. damped that down. Right. Um, but, you know, <coughs> Sort of, I guess your question is how is that sort of non-teleological scientific worldview of evolution um, uh, distinct from the one that I'm, right. I'm, you know, proposing? And 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 I think the difference lies in actually understanding what you know, sort of stepping out of that scientific world, scientific methodology, and and understanding what it's saying, what it's telling us is that we don't, we're in, it's sort of that postmodern again, we're in this way of understanding the world, and, and, and I, can't, I can't tell you why we can't speak of things that don't pass the verification principle that, you know, as, as Wittgenstein and right. logical positivists, you know, that's basically the philosophical foundation for the scientific methodology, right. and, you know, leading into behaviorism and then the, those extremes, and, and I can't get out of, you know, that problem of you know where one cannot speak there one must be silent right. and and so basically i in recognizing that we just have to say well we don't know and i don't i think that's the distinction they're not really they're still in their space mm -hmm. in their in their worldview and they can't you know they can't appreciate it because they're not they don't do philosophy of science so right are you are you pretty much a skeptic in terms of 
your approach to reality. Yeah, I would guess I'd be a classic, classically a skeptic, you know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. let's figure out, let's get some more. You know, yeah, that, would, that, that should be the scientific mm-hmm. experience. Usually, yeah. yeah it's not skeptical of its own doubt. Right. It's just doubts. Yeah. Systematically. Yeah.